So in continuation with the earlier uh, video session, right? So where we talked about uh, creating a graph in a production environment or any higher environment or so that we can convert the higher multi-file system to the lower multi-file system. And then we can try to copy the file from production environment to another, you know, lower environment or vice versa. So let's see one command uh, which is, you know, provided so let's say we have uh, this is alternator of the graph right so let's talk about the similar uh, issue right i want to create a 60 from 64 way to let's say 16 way so i could have i can use the m underscore partition com, you know command then there will be a source url of uh, source uh, mfs file system then the destination multi-file system path and the dml which is obviously would be the same from source to depth uh, destination and then the key if it is there it's an optional because if it's in a round robin fashioned partitioned data then we don't have to provide the key otherwise we need to provide the key so basically it is in a command prompt thing actually so we don't have to create any graph and all so this is an alternate method of uh, doing the same thing using graph right So this can be done, you know, this also, this can be done from multi-file system to the multi-file system or from the serial file to the multi-file or from the multi-file to the serial file or from one depth to of multi-file to the another depth of multi-file. Right? So there are three things we can do over here. So on top of that, right? So I told, right, first we need to convert the partitioning depth and then we need to copy so we cannot straight away copy the data from one environment to another we will need to have communication between you know heterogeneous communication sometimes uh, 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 there are security re reasons so that we cannot connect from production to the you know development environment but otherwise uh, you know we can connect using the heterogene we can set up the heterogeneous environment in our ab initio rc file right and then we can just try to m underscore cp command we can copy the file from one environment to another okay for that we need to have the setup done okay and this is another method so once you have the your multi-file system so these are the different commands you can manipulate the multi-file system okay so these are the m underscore mv command m underscore mcp command m underscore gz for the you know uh, compression and decompression right so these are all m underscore command can be used to manipulate or move the files you know multi-file systems actually and uh, in continuation right if same depth copy serial location one by one so this is the manual workaround if all other things we, let's i tell told you right if it is in a production issue and we don't have this kind of setup in mind or in place so what we can do is let's say we have four way multi-file system in development and four way in production so one by one we can partition wise partition you know we can place uh, copy from you know as a serial file we don't want to use the m underscore cp right as a serial one partition to another target partition we can copy the data and then finally all the partition are copy then we will have the data right we can uh, m underscore touch we can touch the file and then we can try to copy the data basically so first of all we would create a uh, in the target server what we can do is we create the m underscore touch mfs name ms file name so if you do that you will be creating the structure of the mfs so you can copy the from the source source partition i said right partition source partition number one to the target partition of number zero you know zero to zero so likewise come uh, copy we need to do so that you know we can do these are the other different alternate method of doing these things m underscore partition or like if it is the same depth we can do like this otherwise just convert it using the command and then you can copy file one by one manually or by using the heterogeneous method setup 
we can copy the files from one environment to another okay thank you so much please subscribe my channel and you can share it with others so that others can benefit from it okay please subscribe my channel thank you